Okay, so I decided to break into my Spark remote control model GL100A. My dial that runs the camera gimbal was not returning to send, uh, center, so I discovered that there was a spring missing, so I got in there and replaced that with a hard drive spring I salvaged out of a MacBook. But anyway, I uh, just thought I'd post this. I haven't seen a lot of videos of people taking these apart, and there are some tricks that you need to know uh, that'll hopefully make it easier for you than when I did it. So your first thing is you're going to have to take these little Allen screws. Uh, other than that, there's little Phillips everywhere else, but these little Allen screws are what holds these feet on. So you take those out, make sure you have the right size. The next part's a little difficult, but you just need to take a plastic spudger, and these are all pawpaws and uh, you just kind of work around the case to remove this piece. There's nothing else holding it on. Now here is the big thing that you need to know is inside here, you can start to, you have, oh sorry, you have two more screws. You have a screw, uh, let me grab something to point with here. There is a regular Phillips screw here and one here that you remove. After that, the case will become, um, it'll get to where you can take it apart. But here's a very important thing. There are two ribbon cables, one here and one here, that have glue from the factory on it. You need to unhook these. This one would go out to the left. This one goes out to the right. These look like the little kind of flip down cable holders, but I don't think they are. They literally just slide in. There are, is a little white line on the ribbons that show you how far to put them back in, and I recommend putting a little dab of glue when you're done. But once you have this cable, cable out and this one out, you can slowly work around the entire case and it should come apart for you. And then from that point on, if you've been in electronics, it's pretty self-explanatory. I pop this case off without knowing about that and I got really lucky that they did pop out and didn't break but um, that's definitely the most important key of getting this open without hurting it is um, the removal of these ribbon cables here. So once you got those undone you can work slowly around the edge with a plastic spudger and you should be inside to where you can see what's going on and fix whatever needs to be fixed. If you have any questions let me know. God bless.